heaven, West Virginia. Hey guys, this is Matt, and today I'm going to be talking about two stories out of Wisconsin and Pennsylvania. Now we're going to start with Wisconsin first, and I'm going to show you an article from the Gateway Pundit. Let's take a look at the article. It's really the headline. Wisconsin Speaker Voss wants special counsel Michael Gaberman to complete election investigation by the end of February. Now, I would say this is good news, but this investigation isn't looking at certain items that they should be looking at. Uh, I would say they need to do something more like what Arizona did. But uh, it doesn't look like they have done that uh, as thorough as Arizona did. Even though Arizona didn't get all the stuff they wanted, such as spunk logs and stuff like that. But this play, uh, Wisconsin has not gotten anything that I know of that really uh, allows them to do a forensic investigation. So how are they finding any issues with what happened in the election. I don't see how that's possible or even uh, plausible that they have. I think this is, is a sham investigation just to placate uh, people that want this to happen and also to uh, placate uh, Donald Trump. Now there's another investigation going on and it's in Pennsylvania. I'm going to go ahead and show you the article uh, for that as well. Breaking. Pennsylvania Supreme Court steps in and delays Fulton County, Pennsylvania 2020 election investigation. Now, about a week ago, uh, another court below the Supreme Court in Pennsylvania said that they could go ahead and start their investigation in Pennsylvania when it comes to the 2020 election. So, in, they're going to start in Fulton County and start getting uh, all the uh, items they need to actually start it. And they're also going to start investigating the uh, machines. Well, the Supreme Court has stopped them, or delayed them at least, uh, from getting to the machines or starting their investigation until uh, a review happens, which who knows how long that's going to take. In my opinion, this is stall tactics uh, by the Pennsylvania lawyers. Uh, they are uh, working for the Democrat Party as well as uh, the uh, voting machine company. And it's also a way for them to run out the clock until the end of the year. Because by the end of the year, it'll be too late and they can actually destroy all the items from the uh, 2020 election as well as any data that's in the uh, election machines. Uh, they don't have to keep it anymore unless there's a court order that stops them from doing it. But as uh, far as I know, the Senate in uh, Pennsylvania or Wisconsin or any other state that's looking to do these kind of investigations have done anything like that to stop them from destroying those items or destroying the da data that's in these machines. But guys, that's news from uh, Pennsylvania and Wisconsin. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit like and subscribe. It helps the channel grow. Peace.